So the exhibition is called Ghosting and we took in English in Cotton, what's it in, in Estonian Cotton? Tointwerk. Tointwerk, Tointwerk, yes. which is kind of a, a translation from the English. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a clumsy uh, translation from English because in English the word thing or thing means like it has much wider meaning. Like I think in Estonian it could be asi, but in yet asi refers to something like really material or material mm. based, whereas thing can be something much more wider. So verk is maybe like a more narrow or like wider uh, wider word for this. It's like stuff. stuff it's like yeah. something like stuff. Yeah. But the word ting come the th it's the pre-word of thing in English and it's from old Germanic and Icelandic societies where uh, people used to gather around a ting to make decisions so we're interested in how the object or has a power to bring people together to do something or that it might enable something else to happen so that's where the word ting is used and we used it for the first exhibition in that we did together in Turku called ding ting ting and ding is another word for ting so it's kind of a three um, and ghost thing is I think we were interested in how some of our discussions with Louis have centered around how how ideas come to the surface and where they come from and we I think are, are all interested in how we start to do make thing as makers how these ideas come about they're not so clear always but they might come out from your unconscious or they may be ideas that are repeating themselves so for us I think there's a um, a repeating of, the, of classical sculptural motifs and elements and I think Louis picks this up in his essay which is about these repeating forms uh, that come across through historical and uh, I guess different forms in painting and, and different moods and we kind of saw this maybe as some kind of ghost as a trace of, of maybe things that are maybe haunt or are left over from something else but continue to to reappear in different ways um, so I guess that's where that's the premise the starting point for the exhibition and then um, we've made there's some new works and some old works in here. Um, like for me, it's everything's new. Everything's new. Yeah, you have. For me, I think like half is maybe a little over, more than half is new. Mm -hmm. And then there's some older works, but it's still quite recent as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, but yeah, I think it's maybe to narrow down a little bit. It's it's also about memory it's like about mm. remembering like it's a voluntary memory and involuntary memories that emerge like you don't know where they come from and um, what I think is maybe to me personally uh, is important uh, work with uh, material so the material as a starting point since this is uh, what we do we think or we work with the material with matter and I think it was very interesting to see how these may be things that are hidden in the unconsciousness or where somewhere in your mind emerge through this really material process. They come up, mm -hmm. uh, particularly maybe the small works in the back room. I found that mm -hmm. I did not, I didn't think of anything, and then all these strange uh, references to uh, maybe to the uh, also sculpture history and some really strange elements from from things from my studies came, came mm. by, so, yes. Mm. I think the material element is really important for me, and I think for Louis as well, it's his way of working with words as a material, to kind of yeah. writing and things coming out. Yeah, and also I think uh, what, is, what is really interesting to see is how these uh, works by, by me and by James how they form like a common space, whereas we, we work on maybe similar crowns, but very different like materials and, and uh, maybe our 
methods or techniques are actually quite quite similar or we share like mm -hmm. certain common things but how this creates this sort of atmosphere or this this uh, space immaterial space of the material things mm -hmm. 